Hello, I am Emmanuel da Silva from Angola. I'm she, her. I am an artist, a social activist, and the founder of I Am Trans Movement. When I started studying, I noticed that I was seen as different by other boys. The first experiences of bullying, for example, that contributed a lot to mold my personality somehow in becoming more resilient. And you sort of saying, you know, I'm a bit lost here. Um, I feel this way, but then I look myself in the mirror and absolutely has nothing to do with the way I perceived myself. At the age of 19, I moved to the UK to live, study and work. So it was a new beginning. It was fascinating to me that at that time, over 20 years ago, um, a completely different society and world around me where it was giving me the chance to be more open to accept myself and to be myself. In 2007, I made the decision of making the first steps towards my transition. And it was in 2011 that I, you know, I went all the way with the sexual reassignment surgery. It was one of the biggest and best decisions of my life. All the pieces of the puzzle started to be put into the right places and there was no way back. And everybody around me noticed that it was something different for the better. In 2012, I decided to return from the UK. The context in, in Angola regarding the LGBT community, it's a sweet and sour kind of taste um, because you have the new laws that do defend LGBT people and promise to protect um, in case of violence. But then you have uh, a society that in, in, in the majority, it's very conservative, it's extremely religious. As a trans person, you have difficulty being accepted and be respected uh, when, when, for example, you go for, you know, the health services, for example, uh, when you are a student, for example, and we have many cases of trans women who have been forced to cut their hair off and change their mannerism and change their clothing. I think that I needed a platform to show not only to give answer to all the challenges that the trans community faces, but mainly to bring together uh, the, the, the trans community. I founded the I Am Trans movement, Angola. And the first step was to create a campaign a called I Am Trans. So in that campaign, many trans people would uh, hold a sign saying I Am Trans. So many trans people were actually, you know, dying to get the chance to be seen and to be heard. And obviously, the next step was to introduce the movement uh, to many institutions, especially governmental institutions. So the police, the Ministry of Justice, of Health, Education. The way to change hearts and minds through training is the method that, that is used. The people responsible for giving the training are people from the community. And also people have the chance to make all the questions that they have to make. And we have to be prepared and open to give all the answers that they need. And simply say, this is exactly what we go through. And this is exactly what you, people like you or people in your position, if you don't have the right mindset, make us go through. And this is the challenges and that we face. You make us face. And this is the changes that we need. They need to understand who we are, why we are who we are, and why it is important for us to be considered, respected, and embraced. When I'm not active making social changes or provoking the debate, you know, I'm making sure that I'm showing society how useful I can also be artistically, you know, as a painter, as an actress, in the modeling industry, as a designer, as a TV uh, presenter. Every single time a body like mine 
is in those spaces that has that gives the visibility and the chance to actually talk. It's an act of it's an act of a revolution. It's it's activism itself. We just have to keep on being pushy, more daring in a very positive way, and to be resilient and persistent. So persistency is the key. If I have to give an advice to my enemy is to not push my button, because if you push my button, I'm gonna do much better than you ever expected me to do.